Cha-cha. Hi everyone, my name is Josh Sang. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about what it's like to live with blindness. This is going to be the first in a series where I answer some of the most common questions I get every day about what it's like to live as a person with a vision impairment. One of the questions that I get asked most often by far is how on earth are you able to use a computer? Now given my background, especially my educational background, uh, for example, my degree was actually in information systems, it is very important that I'm able to use a computer. So today I'm going to show you some of the technology that allows me to interact with computers, smartphones, and the internet. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So there are a few different types of technologies that allow people with vision impairments like myself to be able to interact with computers and similar devices. But the one I'm going to demonstrate today is the one that is by far the most useful. And that would be screen readers. Screen readers are also called text-to-speech software. And just based off that name, you probably can tell what it does. It basically takes anything that is text on a computer display or web page and translates that into speech that people like me can understand. Because obviously, if you are blind, you can't see. If you didn't know that, maybe you need to go back to school. And so the first example that I'm going to be showing today is voiceover, which is the one that you can find on all iPhones and iOS devices. So here is an iPhone. No. Nope. And... You can hear it speaking and it's rambling away and you might be thinking to yourself oh my god this sounds like Morse code or Korean <laughs> but it is not it's just English and so let me slow it down for you and demonstrate to you how it works there we go and you should be able to understand it much better now 10, 10 a.m. Leave at 10. 15. Off. 9.30 a.m. Alarm. Off. So there you go. That's what it sounds like. And when I tap different parts of the screen, it should correspond to what I'm touching. So for example... In tab bar. World cloth. Tab. One of selected. Alarm. Tab. Stopwatch. Tab. There you go. Double tap allows me to select something. Zero seconds. What I'm navigating through is just the clock app on the phone. Now, you probably aren't able to see it that well because of the lighting and the glare. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to screen record the phone, but it probably gives you a good idea of what the phone works like. Now, on the computer, the software is obviously quite different because, you know, it's Windows, but the functionality is still roughly the same. And so today, I'll be demonstrating to you some of the screen readers that you can get on the computer. And so let's hop on. So yeah, here we are on my computer where I can demonstrate to you what it's like to use a screen reader. Uh, mine is called JAWS and it's on Windows. So here you can hear it rattling away, you know, making a bunch of sound. And so to demonstrate how it works, I'm going to let it read a sample of text to you. As you can see here, you know, they're not able to see it and that's okay. That's on purpose, but I'm going to slow the screen reader down. Slower, 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 slower. So that it can... Be understandable to all of you and I'm gonna let it read something lovely to all of you. Selected. Never gonna give you up, comma. Never gonna let you down, comma. Never gonna run around, comma, or desert you. <laughs> gotcha. And yeah, let's just say that's a party trick that I really like to get my screen reader to do, but it's also a fairly memorable way to demonstrate that a screen reader is just a piece of software that converts any kind of text into speech. And so it also doesn't read text that is just already there. So if I were to open a notepad, and I can start typing, you would be able to hear that it's reading back to me uh, the characters that I'm typing. And so there you go, I just typed a nursery rhyme. So every time you heard it read back something to me, that's a screen reader reporting to me my keyboard inputs. So once again, I'll slow this down. Slower. Selected. Hey diddle diddle, the cat played the fiddle, comma, the cow jumped over the moon, comma, the little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon, exclaimed. 
There you go. And another thing that the screen readers are able to do actually is read emojis. And so here are a few of my favorites. Pile of poo. Face with tears of joy. Smiling cat face with heart shaped eyes. Person raising both hands in celebration. Yep, the screen reader is able to do this because every kind of emoji has a custom Unicode attached to it. And so when it reads the Unicode, it's able to translate that into a uh, sort of dictionary of descriptions that it has built in. Uh, one interesting thing about uh, the screen readers is that not all of them report it the same. So for example, Top of pile, pile face with pile of poo. as you can hear, this one reads the poo as a uh, pile of poo, but on the iPhone, it specifies that it's a smiling pile of poo. So <laughs> just some interesting factoids for you. Another thing that the screen readers are able to do is not just interface with software that is built into the computer, but it's also allowing me to, you know, uh, access the internet. And so here is it uh, reading back some of the Google search Lower. results. Lower. And here we go with some of them. Accessibility links heading level one. Search modes heading level one. Search results heading level one. Featured snippets from the web heading level two. Link graphic image of raised hands emoji 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 heading level three. Heading level three. What does raising hands emoji person raising both hands in celebration mean? The raising hands emoji depicts two raised hands, palms up with lines above them in playing motion. It's used in a celebratory way to express joy, pride, or surprise. Left parent, a good kind, right parent. Dot six text twenty eighteen. There you go, that's an example of the screen reader in action. Another example of a website that is fairly accessible to me would be uh, Twitter. So there you go. There you go. Yes, I really do listen at this speed and then again, it's not Morse code, it's not Korean, it is just English sped up really fast. Sure. So let me slow it down, down for you. Five groups starts five replies. One re I still love the Nintendo DS. Sorry, not sorry. More button menu collapsed menu. Link two hours ago. Visited link at love last coding. Visited link woo. There you go. So that's an example of my Twitter. So yeah, uh, the way I'm able to, you know, interface with the computer okay. is I'm basically using a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. So uh, you might have noticed that I'm not using the mouse. I'm using, you know, the uh, keyboard shortcuts like tab and control tab. And uh, to go to my desktop, I use Windows D. There you go, that's my lovely wallpaper with the shop Pikachu face. So yeah, hopefully that gives you some idea of what it's like for me when I use my computer. Now, I didn't demonstrate anywhere close to the number of things that you can do on a computer using a screen reader, but this is sort of just a sneak peek of stuff that you can do. In the future, I might make more videos on what it's like to use a computer with a screen reader and maybe even with other kinds of assistive technology. So if you think that would be interesting, let me know in the comments. And also, if you have any other questions about what it's like to live with blindness, let me know in the comments below. I might just make a video about it. Who knows? And like I said, this is the first in a series where I answer some of the most common questions that people like us with vision impairments get on a daily basis. And so if you would like to join me on my mission to educate the world about what it's like to live with blindness, click on the like button, hit subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can stay informed about my future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!